What's going on guys? Josh here with Fall the Level Games and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can run Minecraft on an HTC Vive using a mod called Vivecraft. So let's jump over to the desktop and let's get Minecraft running in VR. Let's go! Alright, so here we are on the desktop and before we can get Minecraft to work with the Vive there are a couple things that we need to do. And the first thing being is we need to get the actual game. So let's go over to our browser, let's go over to minecraft.net, let's hover over games and click on Minecraft. After that we're going to click on get Minecraft and it's going to ask you what platform do you want to use. So we want this to work with the HTC Vive so we're going to click on computer and Windows based PC since that's what I'm using here. After that, we do need to get the Java edition of Minecraft. That's the only way the model works. Now, it will not work with Minecraft Windows 10 edition, so please do not try that. The Java edition is the only way it will work. So click on the Java edition, download that, install it, and then there's still one more piece of the puzzle that we need before this will actually work. The next piece of the puzzle that we're going to need is Vivecraft. Now, this is the mod that's actually going to make Minecraft playable in VR on the Vive. And anything I mentioned in this video will be down in the description below so that way you guys can go check it out for yourselves. And I highly encourage you guys checking out this mod because it is really, really cool. So once you get to this GitHub page, you're going to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to click on the Vivecraft.exe installer. So click on that and drag it over to your desktop. Once you get that over to your desktop, you're going to double click on it. And all you're going to do is you're going to simply hit install. Once that is installed, that's it. You're done. It will be playable in VR. Minecraft will be playable in VR. All right, so the last little piece of the puzzle here that we need to do is we actually need to get Steam VR up and running. So go ahead and open up Steam, get Steam VR running. After you do that, I'm going to click on the Minecraft launcher, which I have already done. And once you get to this menu, you're going to go down in this little box here and you're going to click on the drop down menu and make sure it says Vivecraft. Once you do that, you're going to hit play and it may take a minute to load up, so don't worry about that. A few moments later. It definitely takes a minute. Two hours later. And as you can see, Minecraft is completely running in VR, in the Java edition on our PC. And I gotta say, this mod is really, really cool. I'm not one to play Minecraft, never have been, but this mod may actually do it for me. So let me go hop in the headset, let me show you guys around and tell you what the control schemes give you my first impressions on it. All right guys, so here we are in Minecraft VR, Vivecraft if you would, and this looks absolutely amazing. And it looks like the sun's starting to go down now. I've been in this for about 10, 15 minutes or so, trying to get used to how everything works and the controls and everything else. And this, I gotta say, is fantastic. This is a fantastic mod. Shout out to JR Butter for making this mod and maintaining it. I think this mod was created, um, or not created, updated, excuse me, on 421 or 420 of uh, 2020. So on April 20th of this year, he updated this and this is current mod. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. So the controls here are pretty simple. So we have the Vive controllers here and to move around, you push on the left trigger, and when you do that, you're just going to kind of wave your hand around. So if I want to move forward, I kind of point it forward and I pull the trigger. If I want to go back, I aim it back and you go back, left and right. So you can kind of move around that way and you have variable speed here. So you can push it lightly and move very slowly, or I can go all the way and I can start running around in the, in the game. Now turning here is a bit of a chore, but it does take getting used to and it's not that bad. So when you're actually moving around, you want to turn left to turn right. On the right controller here, you push the menu button and it'll bring up this little quick menu or fast menu here. And you just go rotate left or rotate right. And I'm already getting a little nervous here because there's a spider over there. And I'm in survival mode and I'm not really a fan of spiders. So, we're gonna try and move this way to get away from him. So let's go move left, and let's run away from him. I see an archer, I see another spider, oh, great. But as you can see, the controls, once you've been in it for a little bit, you can kind of get used to moving around the world fairly quickly. So it's not 
terrible. The controls aren't terrible. They just get take a little getting used to. Now, I do wish that there was controller support here, but unfortunately, there is no controller support. So, um, that's a bummer, honestly. There is keyboard and mouse support, though. So, if you want to like play the game with keyboard and mouse, sit at your desk or sit at your computer um, or your TV, however you play it, and you wanted to, you know, play it seated with a controller, uh, with a keyboard and mouse rather, you can do that. But, not with a controller. Kind of a bummer there. Oh, that's really cool, seeing the rain and it just stops in a certain area. That's pretty wild. And you have full range of motion too, you can go completely 360, you can look around, you can, you know, duck, you can... You can stand up, you can do whatever you want. You're in VR, you're in this open world area, which is very nice. All right, so if you guys wanted to mine here, let's say you wanted to start mining, you wanted to start you know, digging some stuff up, on the right control, the right trigger, just point and aim your controller at whatever you want to mine. Simple as that, nice and easy, nothing crazy. Now say you have all your materials, you have um, the stuff you want to use to build something. On the right controller again, you just aim at the ground and it highlights the tiles here. And you can just start placing blocks by pushing down on the trackpad. Get a little closer, make, you know, make a shelter. Give me that back, thank you. And then you can just make a shelter or whatever it is you want to do, whatever it is you want to make. And I hear a zombie. And I'm out. I hear a spider. Run! No, not the spider. Get some more sticks here. No! This spider wants me. Out for blood. My, really my first experience in Minecraft, and of course I had to do it in VR. I couldn't just play Minecraft normally. I had to play it in VR. Kind of my thing. Well, this right here might be the one thing that might turn some players off here, is the jarring up and down movement on terrain. When you're going down on terrain or up in terrain, you do get kind of a sense of vertigo. And if you're susceptible to getting vertigo, I would suggest not trying the mod. But overall, let me go up this hill here and you can kind of see what is going on. But you can't really feel it, which kind of stinks. But this up and down movement, you feel it in your body. You really do feel it. So it is pretty cool, but at the same time, it's a little jarring. So heed that caution if you want to try this out. But overall, this mod is a really good mod. It's really well done. The controls are good. The layout of the game is really good. You, know, you have my HUD on my left wrist. I can look at my health, see how hungry I am. I have all my items on my left wrist here. And if I want to cycle through any items, I can push on my grips on my controllers and scroll through all my items. So the controls aren't the best, but they're not the worst either. So don't let it deter you if you're going to be using the Vive controllers. Like I said, you can use keyboard and, keyboard and mouse, excuse me, but the Vive controls are also a viable option. But this mod overall, aesthetically, is hands down amazing. This looks fantastic. Get away from me! Go. No, get! When's it gonna be daylight? Ah! Not scripted, by the way. <laughs> Came up out of nowhere. Overall, this game looks fantastic, like I was saying. It's aesthetically pleasing, it looks and plays really well. I cannot give this mod a higher rating, and this is going to be the mod that converts me to play Minecraft. Never played Minecraft before this. This is awesome, and I will be playing more of this, and hopefully bringing you guys more gameplay footage of Minecraft VR, aka Vivecraft. This is really, really cool. Minecraft in VR is an absolute blast, and if you have one of the Oculus headsets or a Windows Mixed Reality headset, 
it runs natively using the Windows 10 version of the game and I highly recommend that you check it out because this is a really, really cool experience. I hope you found this video useful in some way and if you liked this video, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe so that way you can see more content like this coming up soon. Also, be sure to check us out on social media and all the links for everything I mentioned in this video will be down in the description below. And as always guys, I'm Joshua Fallover Games, signing out. Have a great day.